Hi there, Mark Costner here from Building Websites Made Simple and welcome to my web design tips. In today's tip, we're going to take a look at three different ways of building a website and rate them based on the speed, difficulty, features and ability to customize the site. So let's get straight into it. I've chosen these three methods because they're probably amongst the most popular. They are WordPress, Joomla and Dreamweaver. Here's a quick overview of the three. Joomla and WordPress are both what we call content management systems, while Dreamweaver is a popular what you see is what you get editor, which means with Dreamweaver you're actually building each page of your website from scratch, whereas with WordPress and Joomla you're just installing the site and then customizing and configuring it. Now let's get started with the ratings. Firstly, we'll take a look at how difficult it is to create a website that has a unique look and feel. So for WordPress, we've given it a 5, Joomla also a 5, and Dreamweaver an 8. And the reason for that is, if you want a completely unique looking website, there's a bit more technical work involved with both WordPress and Joomla. Whereas with Dreamweaver, it's a bit easier to create a completely unique, custom looking site. Next, we'll take a look at the speed of changing the look of the website. And for that, WordPress gets a 10. Joomla also gets a 10, whereas Dreamweaver just gets a 4. You see, using templates, both WordPress and Joomla are able to totally change the look of the website in literally just a few seconds. Whereas with Dreamweaver, there's quite a lot of work involved and the process is quite slow. Next, we're going to look at the ease of changing the look of the website. So once again, WordPress gets a 10 and Joomla also gets a 10. Once again, using a template, it's very fast and very easily. You literally just click a few buttons and you've totally changed the look of your website. We've given Dreamweaver a four because it's quite difficult and does take quite a lot of work if you want to change the overall look of your website using Dreamweaver. Next, we're going to take a look at the range of website features. So what we're talking about here are the range of features that are available to add to a website. In other words, things like shopping carts, forums, built-in help desks, or whatever other feature that you're looking to add to your website. So we've given WordPress an eight and Joomla gets a nine. The reason for that is that WordPress really is in essence a blogging system so it was never really meant to have all these extra features. Now don't get me wrong there are a lot of extra features that are available for WordPress but not as many as Joomla. Joomla does have in my opinion a wider range of features such as shopping carts, help desks, forums and all those sort of things that build directly into your Joomla website. Also, Dreamweaver websites give you a vast capability of adding just about anything you could imagine. So Dreamweaver websites also get a nine for the range of website features available. But here's where things get a little bit tricky. Let's take a look at the ease of adding these features. So WordPress gets a 10 because with just a few clicks, you can add extra features to your website in a matter of seconds. Joomla gets a nine. Adding the features is very quickly, but getting your head around configuring them can be a little bit technical at times, but overall Joomla still has an excellent system for adding extra features. On the other hand, when you're using Dreamweaver, you essentially need to get right in and get your hands dirty with the programming, so adding extra features can be quite difficult to your website when you're using Dreamweaver. Next, let's look at the speed of adding these features. Once again, WordPress gets a 10, as does Joomla, mainly because with a click of a few mouse buttons, within a minute or two, you can add a whole shopping cart to your website. On the other hand, if you're using a program like Dreamweaver, it can quite often take many hours, if not days, to add a feature like that to your site and integrate it well. Next, we'll take a look at the general ease of setting up a website. And WordPress gets a nine as does Joomla. Both of those sites are very easy to set up. There are some basic technical things you'll need to understand, but very little. In fact, I'm quite confident in saying that a 12 year old could easily do it. On the other hand, when we're looking at Dreamweaver, it's quite technical and it wouldn't say it's easy at all. So Dreamweaver only rates a two for the ease of setting up a website. 
Next, we'll take a look at the speed of setting up a website. So how long does it take to set up a website? WordPress and Joomla both get a rating of 10 here, which is an excellent rating. The reason is you can literally have your basic WordPress or Joomla website up in under 15 minutes. In fact, in a video I did some time ago, we set up a WordPress site in under five minutes. On the other hand, Dreamweaver only gets a two here because setting up a Dreamweaver site can take quite a while, especially if it's a custom looking site. You see, first you need to design the site using a software like Photoshop or GIMP. You then need to slice it all up, program it all up in Dreamweaver, create all the separate pages. All in all, it's quite a long process. So Dreamweaver gets a two. So overall, let's look at the totals. Now remember, this is out of a score of 80. WordPress gets a score of 72. Joomla also gets a score of 72 out of 80. And Dreamweaver gets a score of 35. So there you have it. We've rated WordPress and Joomla on par with a score of 72. And unfortunately, poor old Dreamweaver is left far behind with only 35. So based on this rating, I would say that both WordPress and Joomla are pretty much on par depending on what you want to get from your website. And unfortunately, Dreamweaver is sort of left far behind. Now remember, you'll find detailed step-by-step -step tutorials showing you how to build a complete website with all three of these different methods, as well as over 100 free web development tutorials, tips and guides, just like this one, by visiting buildingwebsitesmadesimple.com forward slash free. Well, that's my web tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you over at buildingwebsitesmadesimple.com.